Hi guys, you have reported that Hyperland's waybar is gone. And as you see, it's gone here as well. So if you update you, what is the solution? And we rather give you an explanation and workflow and analysis rather than here's the button, press the button, right? RIP is the one that is going to help you. And it's a long bunch. It's a long time ago that I booted up and it starts from here. It's not that long, four days ago, right? So any of these guys can be the culprit. Culprit is a good word. This is the one I've just built today, an hour ago. So that replaces the arch eye so that at this point in time is now broken. Now we can build again with our own package. But in here is somewhere a way bar. Hyperlink can be the reason as well, right? But it's a bar, right? So I'm looking first of all to the bars. What is the application? Is an application update? If yes, what happened to it? So yes, down here we find one waybar hyperlink. So is that the problem? I don't know. So is it, do we ask it to run somewhere? Probably, right? Super, shift, enter. We're still working, everything still works, but it's the waybar that's that. So you go to the dot config, we think we're on i3, we're on awesome, we're on Qtile, you think where is the folder? That's this one, right? Hyper. They should have asked, uh, they should have named it Hyperland. There's another tiling window manager that's Hyper. Uh, okay, but all right. So this is the Hyperland folder. And you see it because of all the bars here. We have this by default, but I just saw that basically I was looking at this guy, I think, or was it this guy? So in here, we copy paste to here. That's what we did. Let's have a look. Well, actually, if you don't have time, you type RG, sorry, RG Waybar. That's where Waybar is referenced and all those things it's referenced. And here is a config ini. Waybar Arco and Hyperland is here. So you check it out. There are, of course, a lot of stuff that we have, right? So mm, doesn't work, does not compute. So let's go into Hyperland. That's the one that launches our configuration. Control find way bar. Blurs way bar. Okay, that's fine. You blur ahead all you want. So this is not going to be it, right? In here, there's nothing concerning way bar. How do we launch it then? You check out the code and say, is it normally at the end often? And this time maybe in the beginning, how do we start things? And you scroll and you scroll until you find where you launch applications that start in your system. And here we have some things, right? Startup. It's gonna go to scripts directory, startup. So you go to script directory, startup. What's in there? This one. First, we're going to kill Waybar. Now we're going to kill, 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 kill. GTK status bar. That's the one status bar. What's the status bar? This one. This one is going to look at the folder in the, in the file, the styles, kill all again. <laughs> If it's not that, it's going to be that again. So the status bar seems to be the one running the way bar configuration. So you run status bar. And then we see segmentation fault, dumped way bar style and so on. Line 14, line 14. So probably this one, right? So it does not get that we need main bar log level. These things shouldn't be there. These things should not be dollar config. They should be actually filled in. It should be this, right? So for some reason, he's not using the variables. We ask dollar config. 
what if we do this is there something changed in the waybar configuration that it doesn't like it anymore that's not it either but now it's a bit different let's see if we can echo this thing echo dollar config save what's in there aha uh -huh, there is indeed something in there okay control z control z control z so the variable is filled in with home eric dot config hyperbar way bar let's see it goes in here it finds this it finds that and we get an error problem maybe something happened to the way bar because we got a new update in right so that's the next thing i think why are we having a problem is there something that we don't know about the way bar github i think There are an update, latest November. All right, stop. What version did we have? Rip. We have 09 release 104. We get 106 here. All right, so my first reflex is the following. I scroll, I roll over to my other PC and I think that they make a git push that might be wrong, right? That might be wrong. So I'm going to go for a hyperlink. Let me check that again. Let's control F. The file name that we need to look at is Waybar Hyperland. Let's see if we can build this again today, now. Well, because we are a few builds behind. Waybar Hyperland, okay. And then with Control H, that one is gone. And then we build 3P, third party. And then let's see, the version that we are having here is 104. The website gives us 106. So let's hope that it's just a bug and that they uh, fix it already in the 106. And that would be the easiest solution. Somebody else's uh, fixes or issue, right? This is all very, Cutting edge, as simple as that. It's the best of the best, the latest of the latest, and sometimes this can happen. To the best of us, we put code out there on the GitHub, people build it, and ah, a hashtag, a semicolon, a space even. Anything can just break your system, then immediately you make a new release, if you notice that, but in the meantime, packages have been built, users have been installing your package, and it breaks. Such is life. Almost built. What version do we get? 106. Okay, cool. Then we go to the repo, repo third party, and we update. So if this is the solution, then you could have done it as well. If that's the solution, right? 104, 106, you come to the conclusion, oops, right? Then you say waybar, yay waybar, paru waybar, hyperlint, and then comes the confusion, confusion, uh, confusing bit that is that the reference on 
a war is always old look at that 22 24 right release 9 release 104 i mean it's always going to be uh, not correct what's on aor but when you build it and that's the thing when you build it it gets the proper number so you could have pressed for one and then the package comes from the aor you build it yourself and voila but let's see if that's indeed the solution we don't know yet so let's see if everything is back Control z Control z Control z and we don't change anything to this one so we keep everything as is unchanged and we can update in here how are you he's still updating the other computer in the meantime let me check yep all right oops Control t update are you ready let's try so we got here the waybar hyperlint the new version of 106 jumping two versions and then we can doesn't exist i think super shift r have not invented it yet so reload <laughs> would be nice if they made that for us many of our tiling winner managers have it so we go to hyper to scripts and to status bar and we launch it voila that was the issue nothing to be changed all we needed to do is build a waybar again from AOR, the last code, two commits difference. And if you can have a look, if you want to have a look, you go to Ctrl Alt F to the history bookmarks. No, nope, it's gone already. So to the GitHub of Waybar and see what they did. Last two commits. And that solved everything. This one, that one three days ago three days ago so in here somewhere something was was merged was put in there that just did not compute did not work right so if I log out log in again waybar will be there and um, issue solved but remember you can always build your own versions from the AWAR if there are issues and it's that easily fixed right just a yay or a paru and select the package from the AWAR. All right, bye.